Hi. Uh, Joshua Machado, uh, it's nice to meet you. Thank Charles you. Marionette. Um, I was wondering which character is your favorite? Like, which one's like the voiceover? Which one is my favorite? Yeah. The favorite of Charles Martinet, also known as Marionette. Uh, which, that's, that's really cool, Marionette, you know? Um, which is what I do with the Mario in real time, by the way, is Marionette work. It's, it's, you know, I sit there with a game controller, and I make Mario, you know, wave, and it's like, hello, Nate, how are you? Oh, look at that, you got that red hat on. I'm beside myself, you know? And, you know, so, you know, that's, that's what I do, you know? I say, oh, yeah, I was with the princess this morning. Mamma mia. My favorite character is Mario. It will always awesome. be Mario. I love Luigi, because I, I'm more like Luigi than I am like Mario. But I, I definitely, I, 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 I just, I love Mario. He's a, a you know, I, I, one thing about acting, and then, you know, for any young actor, it's like all acting is basically the same thing. It's just that in a film, all you have to do is think something, and it comes out through your soul. In, in a television, you have to think something, but in an active way. In theater, you have to demonstrate in some way, even though your, your concentration is on the thinking and the action of it, but you still have to demonstrate it somehow. You can't go, this is the greatest apple ever, you know, if nobody can see it, you know? And then with, with cartoons, you can go, wow, this is the greatest apple ever, you know? Because you, being that truth, you think it, you feel it, you emote it, you show it, and you take it over the top, you know, in a lot of animation. In some animation, they go the opposite way. It's like, let's be smaller. But, you know, the, the truth is always in the character. And the truth of Mario's character, getting back to your question, sorry. Oh, hey. You know, um, I love Mario because I, I love that aspect of his character that he's, uh, you know, in love, uh, common man, uh, rescues a princess, falls in love with a princess, you know, and faces every challenge with a let's go, you know? I think that's great. I personally am more like Luigi. I'm like, oh, no, mamma mia. You're like, I gotta fly tomorrow, you know? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't pack, I didn't write, I did this, I did this, I did that. Ah, oh, oh, what am I gonna, oh my god. Is that a cough? You know, it's like, you know, paranoia, delusion, you know, just sort of things. But that's what voiceover actors do. It's like, you're always like, my throat. Was that? Oh no, that was me breathing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's you know you get to know yourself as a performer, and, and that's what you did. But but that's I think Mario. Thank you very much. Right, thanks, thanks for asking. Thank you. I'll try to be more efficient in my answer. Hi. Hi. Um, have you ever mixed up your characters like uh, mixed up with a uh, Mario with a Luigi or a Luigi with a Wally? You know I I, I I have done that. I, I I you know the first time somebody asked me that question, I honestly said no. I never have. And, and I, I, I have to confess, I'm a human being, and it's like, you know, it's a terrible confession. Oh, no, it's a great confession. But, you know, sometimes, it, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, this morning, when I, you know, I, I usually I was up in the morning early doing Sacramento's daytime thing, and I, uh, morning, good morning Sacramento or something like that. Good day, day Sacramento. Yeah, good day Sacramento. You know, and, and now I'm half asleep, and I start doing, like, Wario, but with Waluigi Lion in my head, and I'm like, wow, I got you watch it, you go, well, he's confused right there. <laughs> confused, you know, see. So, yeah, I, I have, you know. But in general, you know, those characters live with me, you know, they're 24-7, they're in, my, in me, and I wake up in the morning and go, hoo-hoo, thanks to go, you know, and I'm, da 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 you know, and when I'm going to give it, you find myself driving, and you know, so, yeah, they're, they're always there, and then, yes, yes, they do get confused. They also, they never argue, though, really. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello, uh, Nathan Allen. Um, Hi, Nathan. This is a really random question. Uh, it has nothing to do with what you do. Is uh -huh. it all right if I ask a really random kind of question? Yes, if I can't answer that one. All right. Has anyone ever told you how strikingly similar you look to Jeff Daniels? <laughs> yeah. You know, a couple of people have. You know, I really, you know, I, I don't see it, but people say I look like my brother, and I'm like, that guy? You know, and, and then, you know, uh, I, I went into a casting one day for a movie called The Game. You know, and the cashier looks at me and he and I, they sent us a script, which is really weird. I read the whole script. You know, and I go in and he goes, oh, now how do you see yourself in this movie? And I'm like, well, you know, I mean, there are a couple of businessmen who are in one scene. He goes, huh, I don't see that. I see you as, as Michael Douglas's father. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> really? That's interesting. Uh, why? You look exactly like him. And I'm like, 
what? And you know, and, and I got, and then, you know, I, I, had, I was so busy right then, I almost didn't get that part because the director's like, well, I want to meet him at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. I'm like, I can't come on 4 o'clock on Tuesday. I'm working at 4 o'clock on Tuesday. I'll see you at 6 o'clock on Tuesday. How dare you? Have it? But, you know, but somehow I managed to get that, that part. It was very nice, and the director was an extremely nice guy and uh, uh, brought me to the top of this roof of the Filoli Mansion and said, would you mind jumping off this? <laughs> You know, how about we get up at four o'clock in the morning and do it? You know, and you know, and then I and so I did that movie. It was a really great, fun movie to do. Um, I got to meet Michael Douglas and Sean Penn, and got to work with a really great director. And, you know, uh, and then when I watched the movie, I would see myself, and I, it didn't look to me like I looked at all like him. But then they'd show something like Michael Douglas walking like down a hallway, and I went, I didn't shoot that scene. Wait a minute. So I, 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 there, I guess. I, I guess, you know, I can't see myself that way, but yes, people have mentioned that. Mostly just recently. Okay. Thank you for asking. I like that. You're being awesome. Thank you. I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, yeah, like we were mentioning earlier about the Mario in real time, there's actually YouTube clips of that, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I noticed a lot, some of the gags are kind of similar to um, the, the, the Mario head videos in, I think, Mario Teaches Typing 2. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the yeah, technology that, that, we used in Mario Teaches Typing yeah, 2. Yeah, those, those videos kind of have a bit of a following on the internet. Yeah, you know, it's a funniest thing because my philosophy of comedy is, is I mean, obviously, as with, you know, all creation and creativity, as a creative person, you can either do it from the dark side or the light side. The side that lacks and misses and everything, or the side that is like happy and joyful. And I, I consciously choose to choose go from the happy side. You know, there, there's Picasso and Rodin, great, great artists with a tragic sort of uh, mistress life and things, or there can be very positive uh, aspects of, of creativity. And I, and I go for the, the positive uh, creative aspects. And, and now it's, at this point is where I have to say, what, what exactly was your question? Because I know I went a little oh, bit uh, left. How do you feel about the, the, the clips from the, from the game? Um, Ah, yeah. There's been a bit of an internet sensation. We're talking about Mario then. Yeah, Mario Two Seven Two, the, the Mario Head clips. Yeah, I feel about them being a bit of a okay. So thing thank on the you. Internet. So so thank you. So so my version of comedy with Mario. Thank you very much. I appreciate that because heaven knows I don't always follow the. Sometimes I can get back there. You know, it's like I used to go fishing here. You try to catch it a long way. It's like come on back, baby, you know, and bring a fish, will you? You know. So yeah, sometimes I miss that. Um, uh, what, what, what did you ask? No, no, no. <laughs> um, so um, I, uh, I, I, I wanted with, with, with Mario, and from that beginning of that audition, it's like I'm going to amuse you, but I am not going to be, you know, like, you know, because what happened in that audition, oh, I'm not going to go again, is, is everybody else, and, you know, I, I don't know how many, lots of people at the audition would go like, hey, my name is Mario, the Monday you sink, I'm doing the plumbing work here, what's going on here? You need something like that? And as soon as they broke character, you know, it's a, yeah, like that, thank you, next, you know, because he asked you to go on and not stop, you know? So for me, it's like, if I'm gonna go on, I don't wanna be going like, hey, you know, hey, you're an ugly guy, what's the matter with you with that haircut, the hoo hoo, you know, I don't wanna be harmful, because when my first acting class ever, there was a guy with a stutter. And he, you know, and I said, well, how did you get this, the, the stutter? If you always had it, you know, because of your pals. He goes, no, I was the 21st birthday. I was at a show in Las Vegas. My friends took me to, and this comedian, who's a very well-known comedian in the in the time, you know, was all about you know a, a comedy by insults. You know, ah, yeah, 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 moron. What's the matter with you? And this, you know, they singled this guy out. Oh, it's your birthday. I hear it's your birthday. You know, hey, you fat pimply kid. What's the matter with you? You ugly. You know. And he just kept going at this guy, and his, all his friends are laughing, and the audience is laughing, and this guy's getting humiliated. And so he, you know, uh, uh, he woke up the next morning with a stutter, and he had it ever since. So for me, a pillar in my life is I will never make comedy that hurt, that's hurtful. So along comes the Mario of things. <laughs> he got back to it. Because <laughs> he really is like, you know. The decision I made was to make comedy that was fun and joyful and sweet and innocent because I think that's the character aspect in all of us that I think we all need to touch and um, return to. So, uh, I get emotional about that because I think it's really true. So, those, that comedy is always based on the most silly stuff. You know, it's like, he's my impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Pudinator. 
I'm gonna be back. <laughs> <laughs> comedy all the time was like that, you know, so the, the Mario teacher's typing, that was using that head technology, and that was lit really fun. That was like the first, if you said game, that really is the first game. It wasn't, but it wasn't really a game. The first real game was Mario 64, you know, which was like, that. that was just such a joy. Every time I saw Mr. Miyamoto in the hallways at CES, I would say, Papa! You know, and he would <laughs> laugh, and we'd take some pictures, and I still call him Papa. He's the most absolutely wonderful, delightful, truly great human being who has given so much to all of us and is just a, a regular guy. You can, you know, just, you know, you can just say, hi, how are you? Oh, very well, I'm very happy to see you. You know, just a beautiful guy. So, yes, all that stuff, I think I was just really, 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 really lucky that uh, uh, Mr. Miyamoto and I are on the same, I, I, w I happen to, rise to his uh, uh, level of, of thinking uh, or emo emotion in that audition somehow and then in the subsequent jobs we sort of like fleshed out the character and learned more and more what the character was and that will always be a character of innocence and joy and fun and sweetness. And in a sense, it really is something that you choose. As you get older, you know, when, you, when you're young and you're childhood, you have the beauty of innocence that, that just, you know, that, that uh, goes through you. When you get older, you know, as life has its little nicks and dings, you start having the opportunity to be either cynical or to re-choose your innocence, you know, and I choose to go back to my innocence again and again and remember that as a choice, you know. I, I don't like cynicism and I, that's why even the cynicism of Wario and Waluigi is a harmless cynicism. It's a harmless sort of self-pity, you know, as, as, as much as it can be. So, sorry, that's a long answer to that question. Did I answer it at all? I, I think so, because at part, I was, it was more, you know, how do you feel about those videos, you know, on oh, the, they be good. a bit of a minor sensation on this. <laughs> good. <laughs> that was a better answer. That second one was like it was more concise, right? Yeah. Hi. Um, how are you? I'm Mason, and Hi, Mason. I wanted to ask you how early do you hear from the new games, or how early do you hear about them? How early do I hear about the new games? That's, that's a great question. You know, uh, uh, very often I, uh, you know, I hear about things years in advance. And then very often I hear about things like three or four weeks before it's like, okay, we're recording this, boom, you know, and uh, the, the video game industry is very, uh, uh, you know, it's secretive, you know, you don't, you know, so when we record titles, they're not, they're often not given the title that it's going to have in the game, you know, just so that nobody, you know, goes out and goes, oh, we're making Super Mario Galaxy 2, you know, because, if you start putting that rumor out there, then you know the the, the, the marketing people and the people that are smarter than I am, they, they go, oh no, that's that's a, that would be a mistake. So sometimes I hear about a game really early. Sometimes I read about it on a fan page, and sometimes I find out about it when we're about to record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all kind of great fun because I have, I have such a great relationship with Nintendo, and I have so much trust and faith that whatever comes up is going to be tremendous fun. That every time I get a phone call from them, I'm like. Yahoo! <laughs> so it's good. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Hello. Um, would you please fly for me? Would I do that? Would I what? Would you please fly? Would you please fly for me? Fly? Oh, I, you know, I do in my dreams all the time. And some of the things I'm flying is Mario. I've even had the little wing hat on. Yeah. That's my favorite dream in the whole wide world is flying. You know, and it's, it's often it's kind of like over the water and the mountains and things and, and flying. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, I think maybe one or two times it's been in space, but usually it's like flying over water and mountains. And I can see the blue sky and the white, you know, clouds and things. I wish I could do it for you right now, though. But you don't want to see me try. <laughs> it's an awesome dream, dude. Referencing Mario teaches typing too. What's that? I think he's referencing Mario teaches typing too because there's that one clip you know where he's all, "I'm gonna fly for you." Oh, that's a that's right, Mario. Oh gosh, that brings back so many great ones. You know, when it was just a floating head, I used to be able to click a, a button and I'd put the audience out there, you know, and they'd be like, you know, sitting there talking, and I'd put Mario's head on top of somebody, so it looked like, you know, and I'd say, okay, now you gesture. Hello, well, my name is Bob. I'm having a great time. You know, people just sit there gesturing around like that with Mario's head on top of them. It was like, <laughs> I don't know why that was funny for me, but again, Mario's comedy. <laughs> Thank you. Did I answer that? I, I didn't really fly. 
I could like sit on the table and go like that. <laughs> you can cut out the bottom part. And then like, Hi. Hi. Go ahead, ask me anything. Now this may be kind of out of the blue, but do you think Mario is a communist? I know what you are all thinking that I might be insane or something, but when you kind of look at the evidence, the hat, he's wearing red, the mustache, the hammer, his rivals, he, Koopa, and Wario, an American stereotype, it kind of does make sense. I have never, ever, ever, ever even had the first thought on that line. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. But, no, I don't think he's a communist. I think he's a, a, a man who's in love with a princess, which is not a communist thing to do. Uh, rescues her from a, 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 a turtle with a pokey back named Bowser. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, is in love and, and spends his life going, Yahoo! But thanks for asking. <laughs> Hi. Anyways, um, I have a very important question for you. Sure. Sometimes when you're home alone, do you dress up as Mario and frolic about making believe you're in the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> you know, it's funny you should ask that. I don't dress up like Mario. I do have a couple of Mario hats. But I, I, you know, I've been trying for like two years to get my niece to make me little red and white mushrooms and a little green mushroom, kind of like keep around the house, you know, it's like little coffee tables and things. And I do, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, da -da 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 I do, I do, I do. If, if I can, before I really actually get in the mood, if I if I'm down or I can I can if I can get myself out of it completely, I'm like, na 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 na. Oh, that's the mood I'm in, you know. Sometimes being conscious of yourself is good enough to like. It's like when somebody loves you, you go, he yeah, says you, like, you're you're being paranoid. You go, ah, right, being paranoid. Thanks, and then you stop. Otherwise, if you're just alone thinking, you get paranoid, 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 you know. So yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. You're Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. It's Mario! <laughs> see is, is that a raccoon Mario? <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> How about those kitty cat Mario and Luigi? I, I can't wait for that. What inspired you to go back to Nintendo after your audition? Like, what inspired you to go back and do the whole thing with Mario? What inspired you to go back and want to do more? You know, I. I, I am a guy, I, I obviously, I'm a, I think I'm a person of passion, which I, when I say to people, it's like, follow your passion, sometimes it leads to, you know, a few little challenges, oh, 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 you know, but, but you know, it, it's like, for me, I had so much fun in exploring this character, and I realized there was so much more to it, and I love working with the people at Nintendo. I love doing every aspect of that job, so I, I mean, of course, it was like, well, you know, horse to water, you know, I'm going to go and drink of that, and I, and I have for 23 wonderful years. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was just great fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Can I see you fly? <laughs> okay.